Hello guys, welcome to my let's play of Sonic and the Black Knight. We are going to be continuing with the Storybook game series. And this is technically a sequel? Kind of not. So this one, this game, I think surpasses the previous game that we just played. Not to diss it or anything. But I'm really excited for this because there's so many good things about Sonic and the Black Knight that it is improved on compared to the previous game. And most importantly, the best feature of course, which why you know, which is why this game wins, is that we have Crash 40 on the soundtrack this time. Which was not a thing in the previous game, so that's gonna be awesome where we can enjoy the sweet tunes of Crash 40. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game, shall we? Um, yeah, we, we'll, um, we'll go for a different one, thanks. I forgot this is a thing. Of course, we're going for the default name. Alright, perfect, we've got enough letters. Very good, okay. So we're going to be doing the adventure of course, this is like the standard mode that we have. We also have battle which is kind of like the party game for, you know, the previous game that we checked out. Then we have these other things like online online stuff, collectibles, gallery and then of course settings. I think the settings are fine, I'll have a quick look. So we've got the game all set, let's go ahead and kick off the adventure. And we get an awesome cutscene as well from this. And what's interesting is that there's the something else quoted from the previous game. Who oh, dare? This is getting crazy, man. Oh, and it's Sonic. I find that pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's him. What's he doing here? Hey, you saved Chili Dog though. <laughs> That's what counts, right? <laughs> he just scoffs it down. Yum yum. Oh, I get it. No problem. I'm used to stuff like this. <gasps> Oh, the chili dog. Yeah. 
Who is that guy anyways? Nay nay. I shall give chase. Spread out and go after them. Slay them on sight. Oh wow. Slay them. Let's go. Must we? She is the royal wizard after all. The king's orders are absolute. Yes, gold. but without loyalty to the king, we are nothing. So we obviously know who they are. Still, the king, he has changed. And this kingdom. We got Shadow Knuckles and Blaze in this world. I love that Blaze is part of the game though. Oh, I love it so much. Finally she gets recognition outside the main Sonic games. Love that. Why'd you stop me? I could have taken him down, no problem. You do not understand. He cannot be wounded. How can that be? He bears the scabbard of Excalibur. Hey, wait a second. I think I've heard that name before. Um, let me see. Excalibur is King Arthur's sword. Oh, yeah, right! So that means... This is the land ruled by King Arthur. Whoa! But was that really the king himself? I mean, he seemed way different in the stories. Let us go. We can talk along the way. Oh. Let me introduce myself. Charla. I am Merlina the Wizard. I'm Sonic. Sonic the That's Hedgehog. That's a screen saver because I wasn't using my controller because I've been watching cutscenes. Special challenge to reach the Misty Lake. All right, let's do it. Finally, gameplay. I love the art style of the storytelling in this with the cutscene. By the way, it's so good. All right, off we go. First, I would like for you to get accustomed to our world. Sounds good. The rules seem a little different this time around. Yeah. All right, so we can attack you with a good old swing, wanging. So the gameplay is like obviously very drastically different than the sword play. We'll have to get used to it, but for the most part, it controls the same with the movement. I want you to learn sword as the previous game. Starting from the basics. Sword, eh? Well, if that's how you guys roll around here, why not? Play it on, sister. So I'm gonna have to adjust to the sword swinging gun. So the only thing that I'm covering at the moment is like the time you take to finish the stage. Oh, nice little combo. Oh. Nice, there we go. 17 hits though. That's pretty good. So yeah. There's a lot going on on the screen right now. We'll go over it at some point, but for now, let's just, you know, focus on the game because we're being taught the story and all that. Ah. On this screen, you can identify items. Identifying an item places it into your inventory. The number of items you have identified, uh, you identify... What? The... Oh my god, I can't read. The number of points you have to identify items depends upon how you play. So if you do well you get more points, if you don't then yeah, you gotta suck it. So we got a donut and a tart. <laughs> oh dear, not a word you want to hear in the UK. The crown of human achievement. Its sweetness is addictive, that's for sure. And then a sour apple pie. Even though they called it a tart. Sure, I guess. <laughs> he was once a wise and just ruler. He was blessed with noble knights and praised by all. However, he got a little sidetracked. Yes, Nimu, the Lady of the Lake, gave him Excalibur. Mm. He was bewitched by the power of immortality its scabbard bestowed. 
He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool. It'll be like Halloween all year mm -hmm. long. Wow. Maybe so, but I fear there will be nobody left to enjoy it. We must act now. You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. With that sword... A sword? Yeah, yeah, I'll go get it. Be back in a flash. <laughs> Wait, Sonic! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Good luck. For his sword hand. So yeah, this guy can't die, he's a mortal. A new mission has been added to Misty Lake. So we can go to the open world here. This is the entire map of where we'll be exploring in Avalon. This is going to be so so fun because of, of course if you can't tell it is based off King Arthur and the Round Table Knights which is so awesome. Knights of the Round Table. So we got the Grand Kingdom, the Highlands, the Outlands and we'll be exploring them as we go through the game. But of course for now we are focusing on Misty Lake. So, let's do this new mission. Special challenge, retrieve the sacred sword. And uh, we have things that we can't do yet, but we will be able to customize Sonic. Similar to Sonic and the Secret Rings, you know, with like skills and stuff, but yeah. That's for another time. We're just going to focus on the story for now. Because there's quite a lot of story to go through. The fate of our kingdom rests in your hands. And these fairies represent the rings. Like, you can see when I pick up the fairies, I get a ring. Or rings, plural. Swing away. Right, so don't hit those because they are people. Just to show you there. Villainous attack, so do not do that. Otherwise, people will hate you. <laughs> oh yeah, what's that thing? A white fairy? No, I can't touch it. You can see your sword even now. Whilst we're grinding. Love it. And we can do a little bit of a jump here. All creatures from your world as as you. And then the blue fairies basically elevators like they are a spring ball thing. Like a dash damage. panel. Oh, love it. Watch oh. Out. Defend yourself. So, with your guard, you do have to be careful because if you just constantly guard like this, that little barrier depletes over time. So try and time your guarding the best you can so that, you know, you're not just constantly holding the button hoping that, you know, they'll eventually stop. So, use it to, to you know, Time your attack so that you can counter enemies and stuff. And we'll be putting that to good use at some point. And of course we can always jump over the pigs if we want. Or balls. Whichever you prefer. <laughs> and these apples don't really do anything. I think they're just for points. Because we will not be seeing these apples again. <laughs> I'm falling asleep. Okay, there we go. I hope that doesn't happen too much. But I do have an end check that I could swap out if I have that problem again. Also, the music Very is great. Well. Why don't I prepare something a little more challenging? Behold, the ruler of the snake, the mist. Okay then, a dragon. Sure. Now, Back up a bit. That was amazing! Defeating a mist dragon like it was nothing! The mark of a true knight! 
Indeed. Let's go. Mission cleared. We got three styles from that. Alright, let's keep on going. So, just like the previous game, the motion controls are going to be against us slightly. So, <laughs> yeah. We'll try our best to cope with it. Moist cookie, lots of butter makes this cookie so moist. Skipping stone, a neat flat little stone. And Narcissus, uh, Narcissus, uh, I, that did not come out right. Flower named for the Greek tale of uh, Narcissus, Narcissus? Narcissus, no, I'm joking. But yeah, a flower, there you go. So, we can now move on to defeating the boss King Arthur, I know. Moving up in the world already. <laughs> boss fight so soon, wow. Because we've got the sacred sword here, we're like OP now. This must be it. Are you ready? Ready for what? If you remove that Ultimate sword power. and defeat King Arthur with it, you shall forever be the worst of knights, slayer of kings. Guess I can't be the hero every time. <laughs> oh damn. I can feel the power flowing through me. The sacred sword. It goes by the name Caliburn. It's kind of sorry looking. Fool! It talks. You are the chosen one. You are but a squire. Oh yeah? Says you. The sword has a mind of its own. It selects its bear. Yeah, well it's got a pretty smart mouth on it for a sword. <laughs> The impertinent one is you, knave. Brace yourself, or I shall train you until you are worthy. All right, Professor. Work your magic. Because we got trouble. All right, let's do it. Because this fight can be a pain if you're not fond of the controls. Now, let us see the power of your so-called. Oh, Crush 40. Love it. He's looks so good. Come back here. And we've worked. Oh. Swing your sword even time your opponent's attack. Again, this is why. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to change and then check to actually. Oh, there you go. I hope this ain't a common occurrence. But the nun check, cause oh my goodness. Alright, got him. Ooh. Nice. We defeated him. Oh. I made it look easy there, cause it you can have a bit of trouble. That was tight. I've just got those reflexes in my brain to be like, this is how you're supposed to do the fight. So don't worry if you do have to redo that fight over and over, cause the controls, as you can tell with my nunchuck, especially, it's like, yeah, not the best. But let's have a look at these. Cursed helmet. A helmet worn by knights of the underworld. Healing drought. Return from defeat with 10 rings. A gauntlet worn by the knights of the underworld. Got some more items. This could go on forever. Are you sure you're a sacred sword? It is you, sir, who lacks the proper fighting Ha! <laughs> a fool of a knight. Not even worth slaying. You see? He thinks so, too. Well, it's your fault. You're a sad excuse for a teacher. <laughs> wow, rude. For as long as he bears that scabbard, we may never be able to defeat King Arthur. 
So what are we gonna do? We must ask the scabbard's former owner how to hinder its power. And who would that be? Nimu, the Lady of the Lake, the one I mentioned earlier. What are we waiting for? Let's go pay her a little visit. I fear it may not be as simple as that. What do you mean? You shall see for yourself. Onward, my young knave. Stop calling me knave! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Very well then, I shall call you Knave the Hedgehog. Whatever, you oversized letter opener. Knave. <laughs> Alright, we got another mission for Misty Lake. Special challenge, wield the sacred sword. And hopefully I can wield my nunchuck this time and not have it actually <laughs> cause problems trying to play the game. I bet I could use that for some sword practice. It's good for a man like you. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, her name's Merlina, that's not very is quite hard and difficult to Not very imaginative, is it? Just say. Not not much different from Merlin. Too easy. Piece of cake. Alright. So we're getting more followers. Required a new movie. So we already have a tart, so it's not like new. We have the salted, uh, the ham, salted and smoked meat. Ready to eat now or be grilled. Yum. Hmm. I suppose something must be done about this. What are you talking about? My edge has grown blunt. Being in that rock for so long has taken its toll. Ha! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? That's because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Gentleman? Who are you calling gentleman? Seek out the blacksmith in the castle town. I must be presentable when we meet the Lady of the Lake. Oh. What are you gonna do, Merlina? Merlina? Hello? Why do flowers bloom, knowing they are destined to wither? Huh? Their time of beauty is so short-lived. Forgive me, Sonic. But I would be recognized in town. I shall remain behind in hiding. All right. Then I guess it's so long for now. Yes. May your journey be safe. That's an awesome staff, though. Oh, we got a lot of missions now. So we've got Camelot Castle and a new stage has been added to battle mode. So yeah, we're done with Misty Lake for now, but we're going to be moving on to Camelot Castle. And I did not read the story, the, <laughs> the challenge. Special challenge, reach the blacksmith's shop. So, let's do it. Alright, time to find a blacksmith. Hmm. Something is wrong here. Better be careful. Looks very cool though. Like, you can't get more King Arthur than this. Everything's acting strange. Let us see how we go. Right. Okay. Oh! Nice. Eh, luck. Oh, we can block that. Oh, people! So, it works very similar if you do have no rings and you can take a hit. It has like a checkpoint system. So, you know, similar to how... Oh, sorry, we can't talk to you. Similar to how it worked in Sonic and the Secret Rings, you know? Just a 
Yes. Those platforms are just so cool. I love it when you just get launched into the air. It's so cool. Love it. But yeah, as you can tell, the gameplay is very different with the sword play. With attacking and stuff. It's good. <laughs> it's good for the fast place gameplay. You know, just like take out enemies swiftly and move on. But it is very far from what Sonic normally is. That is people's complaint, and I, I do get that. Other controls can be very frustrating at times, like I've already experienced, but yeah. I still think it's a fun game to play. As long as your arm doesn't get too tied out. <laughs> uh, just like shaking the controller everywhere. Just made it. Nice one. And I think those stars will come into play at some point, but we don't need to worry about them just yet. We have got so much stuff. Skills acquired, Soul Surge, we got stuff in the gallery, we have new emblems so we can edit that with our profile. Proficiency level in night style increased. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, excuse me. Cursed Longsword, it's a typical sword wielded by the Knights of the Underworld. They're basically the enemies that we've been fighting. A courtly lady shouldn't be without this. Aromatic tea. It will brighten a morning. And sweet pea, it, uh, it flowers. Its flowers are pretty, but it actually contains a strong poison. Fun. Hey, Tails! No, it can't be. This is the smithy, right? It sure is. Welcome, Sir Knight. He is no knight. At least not yet. Says you. What a magnificent sword! I've never seen one that talks before. Oh, it talks all right. <laughs> Love it. I know a fine blade when I see it. I am a blacksmith after all. Great! Think you could sharpen this dull piece of rust? Fool, it is you who is dull. Of course I could. Now, what's the sword's name? Caliburn. Hmm? Caliburn? Where have I heard that name before? Sorry, but could you speed it up a bit? We're kind of in a hurry. Sure, leave it to me. Aww. That ain't Tails. <laughs> That's a blacksmith. We've got new characters in battle mode. And the blacksmith shop is now available in the adventure. So, special challenge, finish using Soul Surge on the ground. So, because we have reached this far into the adventure, we can go to the blacksmith. Welcome. And you may have noticed that it said something like, Oh, your knight style has improved. Here, you can see each character's skills. Grey skills cannot be used yet. So, we don't have any other styles that we can choose from. We only have Knight style. But as the game goes on, we will be able to get these other styles. I think it'll take quite a while though, to be honest. But, we are able to use Charger and Fairy Collector. But Ring Bonus, Gauge Bonus, we won't be able to do that yet. We have to carry on playing the game improve you know just like play as much as we want i don't know what i'm trying to say there but balanced orientated style to next proficiency level and it says there 14 with the stars icon and that is the icon that we see when we finish a mission so if you just like want to do extra stuff if you want to do the other missions that we previously done and you want to get a better rank at them that's a good way to improve your sword style so it's like the xp of the game in a sense and then we have equipment here you can adjust the settings of equitable items items can be gained by tweeting enemies or in treasure chests within missions so this one we have the healing drought because i was reading this and i was thinking oddly specific for helping us I totally forgot equipment was the thing, but yeah, we start out with 10 rings after being defeated so that we're not in a tight spot, you know? But I think I 
yeah, I definitely quit that. And that's the only item we have so far, but we will get more, so yeah. Let's carry on, shall we? Let's try out the Soul Surge as well, something new. We're, we're being thrown up with all the new stuff, it's crazy. And we're getting red fairies this time. And... If we press B... And then swing... We can use the Soul Surge. Yeah. So it's basically like speed break, but a lot more improved. Because we can actually attack during this mode, like we're not aiming, you know, like sprinting aimlessly. We can actually attack enemies who approach us. And if you want to maintain the soul surge as long as you can, the best thing to do is to attack whilst the gauge is lit uh, bright white. And it will sort of like sustain your soul surge. So that you can just like keep on swinging and swinging and swinging, and you'll be able to just sprint through stages like super quickly. Because soul surge can be OP. Oh, we got a chili dog. Sonic's favorite, complete with uh, jalapenos. Oh, I don't like spicy. Rusty Longsword, Rusty Longsword, it might be usable if buffed up. Rusty Helmet, Rust lets the rain leak into his helmet. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> so, finish using Soul Surge in the air. So this is something brand new, we can actually use it whilst we're jumping and stuff in the air. So this is gonna be insanely cool to show off. You ready, Caliburn? <laughs> no. So you may be able to see the number on the left side out of 10. I believe that's the number of times we have to use the soul surge in the air. It's like the mission conditions. Ooh, a chest. Got an iron. Ah, there we go. Just like so. That's all you gotta do. Mission clear. Just swing away in the air. Oh, nice. That was tight. Killing it with the 5 stars, but again, that's just because I've played so much of this game in the past that it's just muscle memory to me where, you know, I know what to do. Alright, so we've got all of these already. Nothing new. That will be a common case when you're doing missions in the same place. But yeah. Now we can go to the Deep Woods special challenge, reach the Lady of the Lake. So, do we have anything new? Well I think done. the style of our sword would have, would have improved, right? Oh no, not yet. Okay, we got four. We only did like two missions. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> I thought I had enough, but it's all good, it's okay. Alright. If I'm not mistaken, the Lady of the Lake lives somewhere up ahead. Wherever it is, I'm sure we'll find it. Hey, this could be Ooh. fun. Let's hit your ride. Hey. A wagon ride wouldn't be bad. Oh, it's a bumpy ride. Looks like I can get them when they jump. Like so, we can just like get them to disappear because they can hurt you. So, do watch out when they jump out at you. Ooh. It's all right. We're following the road. That horse is going crazy, though. Oh, okay, and then check, calm down. Oh. 
Oh, that was close. Oh, phew. It looks like we've run back into the forest. Is this the right way? Right. Yes. The lake is said to lie in the remote part of the forest. That's huge. Oh. Indeed. This sacred tree protects the forest. Bees, not the bees. To a hornet's nest might make the hornets come out. Oh. Hornets, oh, alright then. Whistle corn and bees. Not the bees! Oh wait. Looks like there's some sort of sound. Oh, Oh hello, we can talk to you. Nice. Present. So, these people that you sometimes see in the stage, they'll ask to talk to you. I wasn't able to do it before because I had no rings, but in return for giving rings to them, they will give you some sort of reward, and that'll be represented as an item at the end of the stage. So it could be something that you could add to the gallery, or something of use. It was a fake. Fake chest. <gasps> Excuse me. Made it. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought I was past the hiccups. <laughs> Coming back to haunt me. Okay. Yeah, so we want. Ooh, that's very rare. Cheese. Cheese from the farm in the woods. It is unknown what milk it is made from. 2 8 2. Ooh. Tome of amulets. This makes the identification of necklaces easier. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah, we have enough to get all of them. So, Herb of Calm, it's pleasing colour and scent make it, e uh, make it perfect for any sort of cuisine. And then we have... Oh, okay, same. Same items. But that's good, if that's true. Makes amulets easier to identify. 